on the team Euro. And it looks as though it's going to be Nikolai Hoygaard out with three current and former world number ones. What a debut for the Dane who's already won around this golf course. He did so back in 2021 right after the redesign. I think that's a, a big thing to have one round here as a rookie. Massive because he's got he's, he's got nothing but great memories. That's a beauty. Right down the middle. His heart would have been pumping so hard there. Oh, he's been unlucky. He's gonna just run through into that right hand trap where it's a magnificent shot from Hatton. Run its way through the fairway into the sand for Nikolai Hoygaard. I mean, he hit it too good off the tee. I mean, he bombed it right down the middle. He ends up uh, being rewarded in a bunker, but um, straight away at the flag, perfect angle. A man who's past champion of the Italian Open hit it really nice there. Just actually hit it too far. I think he's got the rookie adrenaline uh, <clears throat> sort of running through his reins there because two great shots, but just distance control a little bit out, which can happen. He'll just have to ease his way into the game, I think. Just under 50 feet for Nikolai Hoygaard up ahead at the green. Little terrain, little elevation to cover as well. And is for a three. Unbelievable! What a start from the Dane. Oh my goodness, Hunter. If it, it doesn't rain, it pours here. What a start for the rookie. Unreal. That should settle him down a bit. Over to four once again. This is Nikolai Hoygaard. He's looking calm. He's looking confident, Dom. I'm liking Nikolai Hoygaard's style here. Just needs to find the right plateau, though, at four. Well, Europe have got two players who've won over this course. Hoygaard, McIntyre. Hoygaard, he can get there, no problem. He's got the power of Kepka. This one's up the right side. Needs a friendly bounce, I think. And that too will be difficult. Slightly nearer the green might be a little bit easier. To number six and uh, Nikolai Hoygar. Remember the US in close. Past, isn't it from Hoygaard? We won here a couple of years ago. Two number six once again, and Hoygaard. Yeah, could do with it. Scheffler rolled his in for three down the hill. So this yeah. right to left. There you go. Game on once more, Dom. Clutch from the rookie right there. The European squad has definitely done a good job of teaming them up with the right guy that's going to help to fit their personality. Coming off the birdie at six, Nikolai Hoygaard down the hill at the par three seventh. US not close here. Wow, man. Distance control is phenomenal there and it's getting closer, but as we speak, great chance of birdie from that. From He's that the sort shot. of player, Stevie, isn't he? If he gets in the mood, Nikolai Hoygaard, he can just blitz a golf course. Up to seven. Hoygaard to win the hole. There's a birdie putt. He's done it again as well. Two in a row for the Dane. He's been putting amazing as well. It just rolled the pace, everything. Then there's John Ram laughing now. So we've got John Ram and Rory just sitting back and taking it all in. Playing a cameo role. <laughs> a little bit of added pressure for Nikolai Hoygaard. Yeah, he's got to find the green, Dom, hasn't he? Just needs to play right of this. There's plenty of room there. And again, the, the rookie steps in with an absolutely fantastic golf shot when he needed to. As you guys would say, class. Let's wander back to the eighth because uh, Hoygar has a chance here to make birdie and win the hole and take he and Ram two up in this match. 
Yeah, he's seen a couple of them, but he's almost just under that ridge slightly. So this will be interesting to see whether this putt does shove right. I believe, I think he might miss it. Not the putt that is, Hunter, but that little dip. You think Did this the... might be straighter? I think it is straighter. He's had three birdies already. Well, I did say there was going to be a putt hold, especially after the, the two Americans hit the exact same putt. He learned from that 100%, I'm sure of. I think he had a great instinct for that putt after watching it and kind of seeing everything. I mean, that's... Boy, he looks comfortable out on this golf course, right? Not a bright... Not a bad lie, Oigar. He might be able to get a jumper and get there. Go, 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 go. Oh, Again, just close. exact same as Ram. He just n nothing goes forward. It just kills it instantly and then rolls back into the same place. It's three yards, Stevie. That was on the green. Yeah. That was not a bad effort. There you go. From the horse's mouth. It's just such it's such a sharp front edge of the green as well. Yeah, and as that's rolled back, I think that's just rolled back into an old um, divot as well. That didn't look too pretty. Outside chance for the half, Stevie, to keep Europe one up for Hoygaard. Struggled all the way up the whole of the European, so this would be to grab one, really. Just hit it to, through the bottle, through the bottle, Anthony. He, he picked it, he, he read it right, just too firm. Like you say, I think they're, they are drying up. They are getting a bit quicker. They look, they look quite crusty, to go a little spiky in, as well. Hoygaard at 11. Yeah, this is this is a guy who can he's got enough ammo to get to the green here comfortably. And that's it's gonna be quite quick coming back down there, but he's got all the green to work with, so it's a it's a good miss. So back to the par three with Nikolai Hoygaard. This match tied. There. What a lovely shot there. It was after the two American tee shots there. There is really a good chance to have two good putts for Birdie on this hole and put some pressure on. All right, to the putt of Hoygaard. What do you think, Beef? He's making it. Good man. Good man. Oops. That was poor putt there. Shame. I should have just half, stayed tied. I should have kept my mouth shut. No, he should have had a better pop. It's a 14 first to go out of these four remarkably from a little under 20 feet. Nikolai Hoygaard for birdie. Well, he's had a great shot from the rough. And he's had not a bad pop. The rookies, man. I feel like they've been sensational today. They've been so good. We see the outcome IQ powered by Cap Gemini over on the left, favouring the US right now. Driver, I don't know about this. Oh no, go well, it will go. That's going to pitch on the back of the green, Does surely. Well, Sam, don't quit on it, okay? Don't quit on it now. <laughs> I just My thought it goodness. was too much. <laughs> How soft did that land as that was, well? Oh, man, that was good. Decent light. Boy, God, we can just get this down the right-hand side. 287. So looking to pitch is about 255 and run it. It all depends on the lies. Plenty of green to work with, but the one down. Both Americans, the middle of the fairway, both can reach the green. It's Hook and Ram. Will be Nikolai Hoygaard to play first. He's actually got quite a good line in the rough off the down slope. Not an issue. He can run it in there. Pitching two thirds of the way down, running from right to left. Contact should be good.
did what he could. And Nikolai Hoygaard. Feels like we've been around for ages, the Hoygaard brothers. Still just 22. Good play there from Nikolai, just the three would just get it on the fairway because he's a long hitter, so he'll just have a wedge of some sorts in there from a great angle. And you wonder if that's going to be, you know, the plan for Hoygaard to throw it down there and then Tommy Fleetwood, Sam, sees what he has to do. Sort of a funny one-handed finish there. Didn't really get it clean, a short spin off. It's a thick rough short of the green. Up ahead at the green, Hoygaard. We saw a second shot, kind of short spun, had a great, wow. Aggressive, great shot on that thick rough. Up to Hoygaard in this step cut, awkward angle to that flag today. I can't see the bottom of the flag stick, Allison, it's a blind shot. Off an uphill lie. Yeah. It's a good safe play when your partner's already missed the green, although Tommy missed it in a good spot. <laughs> we got from up on high down the slippery dip, it is to win the hole, Jay. And this is an unlikely one to make, Allison. It's an easy one to knock three feet past. Homa knocked it well past from a similar line. Maybe a little bit of an over-adjustment. Tommy Fleetwood's through the back at the third. Hoygaard now. Pins five off the right side there. Oh, wow, an aggressive shot. Hits it right at the flag, but makes such sweet contact with that. He's pinned high. Great shot from Nikolai Hoygaard. Hoygar should have gotten a pretty good line off of Harmon's miss. Slightly downhill right to left to win the hole. Similar result. So the U.S. stay one up in that second match. Hoygar has the ability to hoist it way in the air. Incredible power. No problem at all laying on top and stopping it for this man. This looks good. Oh, it was magnificent. It just looked wonderful right off the club face, didn't it? High draw, homing in on its target. It's been very impressive this week for a 22, 23 year old. It's a little left to right slider here. You don't have to worry about speed. Not this time. So two up the Americans as they head to the 15th. Yeah, a true match play moment there. Less than driver as well for Hoygar. Driver would be way too much. This one going a little bit right. Hoygaard, five. Try to get it into the ball, should catch the slope. Beautiful. Judged it almost to perfection. Just needs to find the putt now. The European captain seeing a little bit of adversity amongst his players out there. Hoygaard also in the rough here. He's, he's got a good break, though. 154, the grass is all laying down and his ball is laying right up on top of it. It's a terrible angle and a bit of a downslope, but he can get the club 
on the ball. I expect he can get this within 30 feet. I was very surprised at Tommy's result. Not that it ran through the green, but that he got it up there. Green side and two, but I'd say two of the worst shots we've seen off the tee there from any European pairing this week. Once again to six. Nikolai Hoygaard yeah, in the fringe. Is that a good shot from where he was to get it here? Yeah, this is an excellent result after the tee shot. And this is a putt that's going to be breaking left to right, gently downhill. That's a good effort. That's the four. But it does mean once again that Max Homer will have a chance to put the Americans three up in that second match. Hoygaard ready to go, top of the hill. Trying to get it the right distance. It's a popular spot down that right side. Yeah. Looked like he tried to keep the ball low under the wind slightly. To seven, Nikolai Hoygaard. You'll fancy this, Chip. Yeah, I mean, you're just going to read this like a putt, aren't you? Yeah, really nice, really well done. Those guys make their shots look so easy. Hoygaard, not a terrible lie here, especially with his strength. He can get this up on the green. Certainly pitch it up on the green, whether out of this lie it runs, that remains to be seen. But you know, stuff with that flag being so close to kind of to the, the water's edge there, Jay, that it's like these guys have really no shot to even hit it within 20 feet, it seems like. Up to eight, Hoy God. Oh, that's coming in hot. That is danger. Oh, that was clumsy. Tommy's sitting good there, though. It's all. Hoygaard, second to nine, 257 yards. Oh, that's way left. There you go. We saw Kepka hit there, hit it in there earlier this morning as well. And Harman's in tight. It's not ideal for Europe. It really is a good 30 yards off target, that, with the shot he was trying to play. We go down in the penalty area at 10. Yeah, just a chop out there, really. And we know what that right side means. It's going to be a really tricky chip from there. Hoygaard's third shot here on 10. Up the slope. We know we don't. Uh, he doesn't have much green to work with. Just trying to hop it up the bank there. But I mean, he's probably got less than half a yard to, to pitch it into hitting that shot. What a tricky, tricky pin position that is at 10. Something Nikolai Hoygaard's also known for. Driver out at the par four. Fleetwood down to the left. This looks good. This looks very good. Good shot. Went for it, Hoygaard. Now has this. The tough thing is this is a really tightly mown grass and it doesn't have much of an upslope. The problem's gonna be the first bounce is gonna be forward before it stops. He's gonna have to fly this about a foot over the fringe. Yeah, he's done well there. That wasn't an easy shot. And that's why we were saying the tactical play of laying it back you can get that spin you don't have to open the face and and play a really cute shot but he's done well there to give himself a part of birdie from that distance once again to the 11th and this is Nikolai Hoygaard do you think Fleetwood's putt helped him here yeah definitely that's a really good three from where his drive was with only 30 yards pitching into that that area really good Hoygaard, last to go. 
massive tee shot. Downhill live, ball above his feet. Tree not in play as long as he's not playing a draw. This one going a little left, trying to cut back. Oh, good heavens. What a misjudgment. Holy. Misjudgment? Flyer. Nikolai Hoygaard over the back of 12. The US in for an eagle three. Pretty good effort from, from quite long. Over to 13 and the final tee shot from Nikolai Hoygaard. He's looking a little bit out of sync, isn't he, at the moment? Yeah, he looks a little quick, doesn't he? It seems like he's kind of... Everything's not really moving together. You don't want to give this team any sort of confidence. You just want to, this is what the Euro has done all week. They just pounded the US. Quite going over the green at 13. Well, he's at least going to give uh, Tommy Fleetwood a little bit of help, a little read on that putt. Hoygaard for his birdie on the 14th. Can he find it this time? He can! There you go. Maybe. Just maybe in the nick of time. Looked like he was losing his way a little bit out there over the last few holes, didn't it? And then suddenly, boff, up his pops. And the holes one from 30 feet or so. Nikolai, following on from the confidence well, the birdie has found a shocker. Needs some luck. Hoygaard. Ball below the feet, long way back, out of position. Find the green. Allow your partner to go at the pin. Nah, doesn't like it. It's not his favourite hole, the 15th. Well, Hoygaard. It's going to come out running even if he lands it perfectly inside the 25 feet pin high left would be outstanding and if you can give yourself a putt for par maybe take some pressure off of tommy that's what you're trying to do let's go nicole this is for four we think this is for four. Just having a chop at it has a chance. That's pretty well done. Max Talk man. about coming out of nowhere. Max Homer. <laughs> what a study he's been, man. He's been so solid this week. Just 16 and Nikolai Hoyga. He's got the driver. I'm surprised. Seems like a large hook for him. He can hammer it. But boy, this is looking good. Probably needs to get down, actually. <laughs> you just keep on going. How's about that for a shot, Hunter? It's okay. <laughs> Man, that was sweet. I mean, a smooth choke down driver to 10 feet. The 16th hole of the Ryder Cup on Saturday afternoon. Are you kidding me? Incredible. Look at the scene here. Hoygaard at the 17th. Adrenaline's running. I don't think this is an eight. I think this is just a big draw, a nine on the win. Hit him, hit him, hit him. Hit him. Hit him. Hit him. It feels like his turn, but he just didn't get enough of it short. Oh. Fried egg for Hoygar at 17. He's on the upslope, Dom. If you just bury the club underneath, it's going to pop up in the air. This is doable. It's doable. Well, that was a pretty good effort, wasn't it? Oh, he got it the first. Short putt for the win. And he has won the hole. He likes that first hole. Well, he has won here, hasn't he? I'd love to see the start at the end of the week of Europe's first hole wins. One of the Europeans uh, said earlier this week in the press conferences that they were practicing three whole matches in the practice rounds, trying to get that feeling of needing to get off to a fast start, something that Hoygaard has managed to do. He's two up over Shoffley. Urgency.
This is the 12th. This is Nikolai Hoygaard, the youngest player here at the Ryder Cup. And a birdie putt here to tie the hole, and he has not made it. So Hoygaard is now two down to Xander Schofele. There's an awful lot of red on that bottom part of the leaderboard, isn't there? Hoygaard to win the hole. Just to get back to just one down. It's not going in. It's a little, a little bit short too. Hi, go, Hoiga. I should say to uh, get match nine back to just one down against Schofle. So those two matches, nine and ten, very close. Swing here for Hoygaard. He's just one down. It just says birdie putt, that's not great. Is it going to come back at the end? It might. The shuffle will have a putt for birdie there. Hoygaard over the back of uh, 16. Nicely played shot. No heroics this time though from Hoygaard. Caught an awkward lie there. Awkward spot to be. Hoygaard. Not to be. For Nikolai. To watch another Ryder Cup video, click here and subscribe here.